Hi there, I'm back and today I'm going to do um, one of my favorite all-time recipes is eggplant parmesan and how I'm going to make this a little different and also a little bit even a little bit healthier than the traditional way of preparing it is that I am not going to fry it. Now I've tried baking it and you spray it with spray oil and all that. It still just doesn't come out right. It's not crispy. It doesn't have that nice velvety smooth texture on the inside. It's Everything's kind of rubbery because it's, it's dry, you know, it just sort of shrivels up. Um, I discovered a way of doing this with getting away from the frying pan with it with a half inch or more of oil it, which is so unhealthy and eggplant's one of those things that kind of soaks up the oil like a sponge so it doesn't matter how well you drain it afterwards it's it just stays really oily so what I'm going to do <clears throat> is after I get done breading everything here I'm going to make it in my waffle iron and it looks cool it tastes really good you have this wonderful cr thin crispy texture on the outside and that nice smooth creaminess on the inside just like just like uh, traditional, except it's a lot less greasy. So um, this is just, a, I don't even have a written down recipe for this. It's really simple. I'll just go over it real quickly uh, while we're waiting for the waffle iron to warm up. I just have plain store-bought breadcrumbs. They're dry breadcrumbs, and they're just the plain. And then I add my own seasoning. I have about a, a teaspoon of oregano in here, and then a half a teaspoon each of garlic salt, and um, uh, freshly ground black pepper, sorry. And then I also added, which also helps the crisping and the flavor, I also added, I don't know if you can see, I'll try to get close, little shreds. I have about a quarter cup of fresh, uh, freshly shredded, par um, excuse me, Parmesan cheese in there, which is my ultimate favorite. And I always shred my own. I never buy that stuff in the can. As I'm really not into eat into eating sawdust and wood chips and all those anti-caking agents that they use that really, if you think about it, they're not edible. <laughs> and then over here, I just have uh, one egg that's been beaten with just a splash of water. And I, by a splash, I mean like a tablespoon of water. And it just kind of thins it out. Um, it stretches it out to go a little farther. And you really don't need a ton of eggs to get the crumbs to stick. You just don't. Um, I have experimented with that off and on. And I find that one egg um with a little water in it will work very very well for one whole eggplant now my eggplant i get this it's a, i don't even know what the specific species is i've already cut the ends off so it looks really odd but it is kind of a a strange little shape um it has it's a type that has fewer seeds and less bitterness um i can only find these this time of year which is in august right now and at this little farmer's market at the end of the, around the corner and at the end of the street from us, um, they grow a lot of their own vegetables and then some they sell um, for, for other family farms that are in the area. And it's just wonderful. We just live for August when all the harvest comes in. So I'm just going to quickly get these breaded up and ready to go while the waffle iron is heating up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so everything has been breaded, as you can see. And we are good to go. The waffle iron is preheated. And let's get a little of the olive oil spray on there. It doesn't take a lot, but you do want, want it to help with the crisping here. So, And this is, of course, different from waffle batter and things like uh, bread to make French toast or whatever you're gonna do. Eggplant's very firm, so you're gonna have to gently but firmly kind of press it together. And I don't wanna force it, because I, I don't wanna break my, my waffle iron, but you kinda wanna coax it down a little bit. And after a couple of squeezes, you can kinda just let it do its thing. All right, now this is the flip side, so we're gonna flip it over. Okay, and now I'm going to set my timer for four minutes. Since this is a raw vegetable, I want it to be cooked in the middle. So as soon as that's about to finish, we will come right back. Okay, we're just about there with our first piece of eggplant. There it goes. Let's see what we got. Oh, does that look cool or what? 
I'm going to try to get you closer here. So everything is is extra cool when it's been in the waffle <laughs> Now, I don't know what made me think I could do that without tongs, so let me grab my, my little waffle maker tongs here. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It doesn't stick. It's nice and brown. Now, I set these, I cook these for four minutes. That way they're done all the way through. But if you want them even a little crispier, you could go ahead and put them in the oven for like five or ten minutes, like a 400 degree oven. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and keep going with these. Now, if you're making French toast or waffles or something with a batter or something softer, you probably won't have to keep spraying it. But because I want these crispy and I want the cheese to get crispy with that little bit of olive oil in there. I'm just going to give it a little squirt for each piece that I put in here. And again, we're just going to gently but firmly press. Okay, and we're going to flip it over. Set my timer for four minutes. All right, and we'll be back. Okay, I finished all the eggplant slices. As you can see, they're all nice and brown and waffled. And I'm just, I'm one of those that likes to put it in the oven just um, for, for today's purposes. I need to keep them warm and keep them crisp while I warm up some, some of, uh, some marinara sauce for it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My eggplant is done. I just put it in a 400 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes just to keep it warm and crispy while I warmed up some of my favorite marinara sauce. Normally I make my own, but one day when I was shopping at Trader Joe's um, and knew I was having pasta for dinner, I don't even remember what exactly I was making, but I knew I needed some kind of sauce um, that was ready to go. And so I just happened to pull this off the shelf. This is their organic tomato basil marinara. They do come in different flavors of the marinara. It's excellent. It's become my fast favorite. So if I need a good sauce in a hurry, I don't have time to make my own. I absolutely love this. I, I highly recommend it. And it's really not very expensive either, considering. Um, so let's bite into this real quick. So you can see, I don't know if you can hear that. It's nice and crispy. Oh, there, yeah, you can hear it. So, and then, um, my husband is not home this evening. He's out for the evening. So I got to make this for me. This was my favorite meal. And when, if he were home, I'd be, you know, have the pasta and the whole thing with it. But I decided to forgo that, forgo that. I'm just going to have the eggplant with, with the sauce here for dipping. Mmm. <clears throat> it is so good. Inhaled some breadcrumbs. <laughs> It is so good. I have to have another bite here, sorry. And you can see it's done really nicely inside. It's nice and soft. It's nice and crispy. It has that little bit of Parmesan cheese in there, that great salty flavor, and that it lends really well to the crispiness of it. And none of the, the greasy fried um, treatment here. I can actually taste the eggplant instead of just a lot of greasy oil. So I hope this is helpful to you if you'd like to try all kinds of cool and different things to do in your waffle iron. I highly recommend this one. It is, and it's so easy to do. So uh, with that, um, I hope you have a great day. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and I will see you later. Bye-bye.